uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is AAA Handle. I'm so glad that you are here. And uh, thank you very much indeed for watching this video. And thank you for those who are following us on Twitter, uh, on YouTube, and even all the social media and so on and so forth. I'm so delighted that you are here and are watching this video and you are subscribing, I mean, uh, to this channel, uh, my channel on YouTube. Uh, I'm still uh, resuming, I mean, uh, because I started talking about the uh, uh, proverbs, uh, English versus uh, Sudanese, uh, uh, proverbs saying, cliche, and uh, quotes. Okay, uh, right now I'm going to shed the lights on some of the uh, new uh, proverbs that I was talking about them. Um, I've been talking about this for maybe uh, two months ago. Um, so I'm talking about them. Yeah, I'm about to finish this area. I mean, uh, I'm tackling a certain area. I mean, uh, certain uh, part of Sudan, which is uh, Darfur, okay? So right now I'm going to talk about this uh, proverbs. So let's see our uh, new one. Uh, as you know, these days, uh, uh, sorry, before doing this, uh, I'm so sorry because I didn't share the screen. So uh, <laughs> let me share the screen with you. Yeah, uh, as you know that sharing the screen. So let me. We start sharing the screen and see what we have, uh, what we are offering for today's session. Ah, oh, words, words, three simple words are contain as many connotations, implicit many meanings, killing, death, genocide. Innocent uh, people who are killed. Yes, no war, no for war. No war, no for war. Yes, for uh, peace. So we are calling for this. We are uh, asking for this. We are um, really asking the other people to call and to sit down and talk. Uh, the war to end up war and uh, as you know war is uh, i'm not gonna say that as the uh one of the scholars says uh there's no uh good war or bad at peace so that's why a well calling for this we are urging other uh parties who are uh, killing each other uh, the situation is worsening every day, actually. Uh, uh, precisely in my uh, uh, block country, and as Alan uh, Payton says, cry the block country. So we we don't want any crying. We have to stop crying. We don't want crying or crying anymore. Uh, we are calling for uh, peace. We are calling for. Uh, living together, living in harmony, living in uh, the, the so-called, I'm not going to say in this word coexistence or something like this, but uh, people should live in uh, peace. Why? Uh, and even the, the Islamic teaching, Islam and the Islamic teaching teach us that whoever kills an innocent uh, person, whoever kills a man, as if uh, he killed all the human being, all the mankind. So why? Why do we kill each other? Why for? These are the questions. Isn't it the power, the chair that we are calling for, we are asking for, we want to be the, the, the place that uh, people want to be there? Or what exactly? What the main reason that to kill an innocent uh, people? To kill uh, even the elder uh, people or kids, children, and these are innocent. Why? So I'm calling, appealing, asking, urging 
all these words, the word that uh, really uh, call for a peace, I'm calling for this. And let me start with the one of the Dafarian. I'm still under the umbrella of the Dafarian uh, proverb and uh, the killing, uh, the, the blood shedding of uh, the eyes. Very example, very disguise. And those who are working under the, the guise of uh, Chaya and uh, power, and they have to stop this. And even the, 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 the educators, talented, gifted, academics, uh, du'as, uh, uh, pressure, I mean, Islamic one. Okay, all of, all of us, we have the shell. We have to call for this. We have to stop this. We don't know, we don't want any more war. It's quite enough. The long war in Africa. When we are talking about South Sudan, and right now in the, the Western Sudan and several months in uh, Eastern Sudan. So why is it a plot? Is it conspiracy? Who are the beneficiaries? Who are the benefit? Who will be get, getting benefit from this war? We have to ask ourselves, who are behind this? Who are working behind in, in this kitchen, behind the closed doors, behind uh, the curtain? So uh, I'm asking this, I'm urging, I'm calling for this, I'm claiming that. We have to stop this. We have to stop this absurdity or this absurd. Uh, what, what does that mean? What do we mean by this uh, uh, proverb, the foreign uh, proverb? Because right now we came together as one nation. And if you are from Northern Sudan, you have some of your own relatives in the southern Sudan. If you are from Western Sudan, you have some from your uh, from the Eastern Sudan, and those who are from West, from the North and so South and Northwest. And all this. So we are one nation, and there's a, a, a kinship. A family relation, family ties. Okay, all this or we share this. I'm not calling about you are from the Eastern Sudan or from the Western Sudan or from no, we are Sudanese. And this is uh, to some extent agrees with what Dr. Garan says. So our Sudanese will you definitely unite us when we are talking about this, definitely will be unified will be at the one nation, one hand. Why we are killing each other? Why we are, by, by calling this uh, segregation, uh, racism, uh, discrimination, all these things, we have to put them back. We are in the 21st century, the third millennium. So we have to forget about this. We have to forget and forgive. We have to, uh, it's not we have to, it's not we owe to, it's a must. We must forget about that and we have to forget. So we have to forget and forgive. Uh, let me start about this uh, proverb, a Scottish proverb. Uh, peace is the well, a deep well uh, from which the stream of joy runs. So why we, we are not living in joy? We are not living a joyful life, a prosperous life, a welfare. Okay, all these good meanings, this good life, lifestyle. Why we are satisfied by seeing that we are the third country, the third world? Why? These are the questions that it need answers. It needs or they, they have to be answered. And uh, this, this is a call for us. 
There's a call. There's a truly call. There's absolutely call for us. And we, this generation, we have to answer this call. We don't have to wait others to, to solve our own problem. We have to confront them. I do believe in, I do believe in confrontation. Taking the initiative, okay? The second one is uh, peace cannot be kept by force. Yeah, forget about force. Forget about the genocide. Forget about the, the, the inalienation which is taking place somewhere in Sudan. And you know that. But we have to stop this. We have to annihilate this. We have to uproot this from the, the roots. It can only be achieved. Only be achieved by what? By understanding. Let's sit together and understand each other, the needs, the issues that things that we need to deal with. It can be dealt with. It's not by force. I'm not calling this. I'm, I'm trying to, to make my voice heard because I do believe that we were born to make our voice heard. So from this video, I, I would like you to share this, sharing with your friends, with your loved one, with your family, with anybody. Instead of spreading, circulating the bad news, we are really circulating. Unfortunately, unluckily, we are circulating the bad news, the sinister. The tough news of killing, of murdering, of uh, losing bloods, uh, beloved ones. Why, why we are circulating this? We have to call for this. We have to circulate this news. We have to uh, spread peace. A uh, peace is important. It's vital. It's vitally important nowadays. No more. No more war. Yes, yes, when I say yes, I mean it. Yes for uh, peace. This is uh, other and it's time. Let's see the other one. Uh, the Lai Lama and it's lordy uh, or globally known. We can never obtain uh, peace in the outer world until we make a uh, peace with ourselves. So this is called the inner, the inner, and, and uh, there is another thing uh, that uh, says everybody, everyone uh, loves, wants, admires, okay, to change the world, but no one think, no one believe that he can uh, he can change him, his, himself or herself. So as you know, and I do know, as you say, as you sense, as I sense, as you believe, as I believe. Sense is start from within. Sense or change, sorry. Change is starts from within. So we last change of us inner. Then everything. Let's live in, in, in peace and harmony. Let's live in a, a joyful life, prosperous life, life without any killing, without any humiliating others. Without any disdaining others, without any hating, abhorring, detesting others. Let us love one another. Let us start loving each other. Uh, let us see what MLK says. Uh, peace is not merely a distant goal that we seek. We are not seeking just only this, but a means by which we are arrived at that goal. So a uh, peace is is not an end in itself. Again and again and again. A uh, peace is not an end in itself. It's a means for an end. It's not a mean. It's not the ultimate goal, but the life. The life that we have to live it as it is, as it should be. This is Said by Junior, and you know him, uh, Dr. King. Uh, let's say this uh, the, the ex uh, president of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt, he said that a peace like charity begins at home. And as you know, that 
uh, charity says uh, begins at home. So why we do we don't start with this? Let's open this. Let's work on this. Let's dig down deep and get the best out of us. Not get the hate. I dislike hate. I have horror hate. So hate we can not achieve anything. Will be a devastated land. It will be our land will definitely be devastated land. Will not get progress. Will not cope with the contemporary world. So this can be achieved by education. We need to educate ourselves. We need to educate those who are illiterate. We need to educate those, even those who are calling for war, those who are. Uh, just uh, spreading the word, okay? So through education, everything can be done. The last, uh, I looking that the last one is also by Dr. King, um, and the last is not least, uh, okay? It's uh, the least, the last but not least, injustice. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And this was exactly, exactly happening in Sudan. So if there's injustice, and uh, there in the Western Sudan, there may be war or in the Eastern Sudan. So we have to end up this war. We have to call, we have to call out this war. But this is by inner intention, by our intention, by honest, frank, sincere intention that we have to call this down. We have to call it off through. We have to spread this. And my advice to every single person, to every single uh, body who is listening or watching this video, I try just my, uh, my beg, I beg you. My uh, piece of advice and my beg or everything that I'm asking for is just to circulate this. Let it spread out. Let's reach this. This is my voice. I'm trying to, I'm using this, I'm using the, this video as my voice to make it heard. So those who are sage or sane, okay, where are they? Where are they? We don't have to behave insanely. We have to behave sane or sanely to be sane. To be wise, gentlemen, women and women, men. It's high time to call this war off. It's high time to stop this. This is absurd. This is absurdity. This will not get let us uh, get forward, progress. We'll be backward. We are backwarding ourselves. It's very awkward that at this millennium, and we are calling for war, we are war, we are a, in, intervening in wars, and we are killing each other, we are killing innocent people, we are annihilating, annihilating, this is an annihilation, this is a genocide, so we don't, we, we have to stop this, and those who are in power, try to rethink about this issue. These are vital, it's very hot, and it needs to be discussed, to be tackled, to be confronted, to be addressed, and to be readdressed. Uh, thank you very much indeed, and this is just, I'm trying to stop this, and I'm calling for uh, peace, not for war. I'm just trying to, to do this, uh, uh, because some people who are circulating the, the sinister and the sinister and the bad news, uh, uh, bad photos, photos that really is very resentful. I, I really, it, when I see this, I even my guts cannot bear this. Intuitable, it's unbearable. So let us try to do this, and by forgetting each other, and this is what I really would like to conclude my speech. Forgiveness is choosing to love. So let us choose this love. Let us really use it from our own heart because if you don't use it, we will lose it. So that's what I'm calling for. 
if we don't use it, we will definitely lose it. So we have to use it before we lose it. So use it. That's it. I get you. I help you to use it before you lose it. It is the first scale of self-love, self-giving love. So we have to give and we get. When you give, you get. And this is the life. Give and take. Take and give. Okay? So let's spread this. These values, these norms, these issues. So let's talk about them. And this has been said by Mahatma Gandhi, the, the Indian uh, founding father for uh, peace. And you know him as well, man, around the globe. Okay? So this is what I'm... And let me, let me conclude my speech with one example, a clear-cut example by uh, uh, Paul Kigami, uh, Rwanda, and everybody knows it, it's well known around the globe right now, and even the civilization has become one of the great life countries in Africa. In terms of uh, uh, peace, inner uh, peace, in terms of uh, living in harmony, joyful life, a prosperous life, in terms of uh, uh, coexisting, uh, this, because this word is I'm allergic to it, okay, and uh, because definitely uh, people are, but some uh, as uh, as uh, uh, Dean uh, Paul Sorter says uh, his novel, uh, and even from the title, it's very clear that Le uh, Masal, because they are nasty or nasty stuff, uh, hands and behind this work, so we have to pull this up. We have to stop this. It's high time to stop this work. And we have to use our Islamic teaching because in Rwanda, if you call my family, if you call my mom, my dad, my sister, my relatives, all of them, no one left but me in front of the court of law. What should I say? Do I say that uh, ransom, Guana, will suffice me to be killed? To kill you as you did? No. Simply. He will take, or he takes, or he pays. I for forgive you. I forgive you. So by this forgetfulness, forgiveness, sorry, they reach the the climate, the climax or the peak, one of the best countries right now in Africa. Okay? So they forgive. So we have to forgive and forget. We have to forget the, the bad deeds, the bad things, the war, and everything in the past. Uh, let us think about now and the generation of tomorrow. And today's generation and the generation of tomorrow. Let us think about that. Let us think that how can be achieved and it's doable. It can be achieved because we have examples. They did it excellently, so we can do it. If a man, and a man here, I do mean, uh, or uh, I mean that is for the whole human being, the mankind. If a man can do, I can do too. We can do too. You and I, you and I, we can do that. Why not? So all of us, this is a sharing or a responsibility. It's overlapping. It's intertwined, interrelated. They correlate it. So it's your and mine and your and their, all of us. So we have to work together. We have to work collaboratively. So we have to forgive and forget. Forget the old death, all the bad things, the bad days, the old days. Forget about that. Whatsoever might happen or had. Have pen plus forget it and live with forgetting. Let's forgive. Let's try to do this. It's so hard. It's hard. I am telling you the truth. It's hard, but we can do it. 
thank you very much indeed. Uh, just wait me. There will be another uh, video. And don't forget to share this with your friends on the social media, Instagram or YouTube or uh, Facebook or WhatsApp or WhatsApp. Okay? Don't forget to share this with your friends, with your loved ones, with your acquaintances. Okay? Don't forget to share this. Let them know. That it can be achieved through dialogue. It can be done. It's doable. So we have to do it or die. Sink or swim. But we have to develop incredible swimming skills. So we don't want any more war. Thank you very much indeed. This is a a Hanu from accounthanu.com. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, there's another word, uh, sorry for this, but uh, the holy month is coming. And the holy month is the month of forgiveness. So uh, please do forgive Christians. 